the North Sea, an oil drilling field. On April the 30th, 1995, Greenpeace enters the area. This move marks the beginning of one of the greatest political and media adventures of our time. The environmental activist target is the Brent Spa oil storage and tanker loading buoy. Considered no longer necessary, the Shell Group announces plans to dispose of it by sinking it at sea. Well, I was wearing a kind of survival vest. It had a kind of metal hook on the front and then a hook that came down from above, a snap link. It clicked into place and then you were pulled up with a pulley. It was so unreal. I can't even tell you what it was like. We'd occupied this stupid oil rig and... And Shell was not reacting. Was Shell going to let us starve? Would we be evicted? Were they going to do anything at all? The basic mistake we made was not to take Greenpeace seriously. We should have done that from the very first day. Stay down, French bar. I'm telling you, you're not allowed in our 500 meter exclusion zone. And um, this is to try and save our sea upon which we work. You're doing the job of the rapists of the planet. I hope you feel ashamed of yourselves. Shell begins its operation on the morning of May the 22nd, 1995. Then they just made the decision to just drop the basket and they literally just boom. They came fast and they're on board. So we just take what positions we can and hold out as long as we can. They felt themselves um, invincible and, and invulnerable. They, they, they felt that, you know, nobody could really touch them. It was a good campaign, and we were trying to highlight the fact that when you build stuff like this, you can't just dump it afterwards. You have to either have another use for it or a plan to break it down or some kind of plan. You can't just dump stuff like that in the sea or anywhere. So we were trying to highlight that, but what we really highlighted was the, the power of the public to react to something that, that they don't like. I have to throw away a tea bag in three different garbage cans. One for the string, one for the paper, and one for the tea leaves. And they're simply sinking this monster in the sea. The sea must not be misused as the dumping ground of an oil company. That the German government is of the opinion that this oil rig should not be dumped. Well, it's good that the scandal of the sinking of poisonous waste is finally being brought into public view in the Atlantic and in the North Sea. After being evicted, the activists are determined to return to the spa. And the only way really to get on the Brent Spa is by helicopter. That's going to be difficult and dangerous because as soon as you get close, you get the water cannons again. And they're so powerful, they can shoot over the Brent Spa easily, no problem. Before the eyes of journalists from all over the world, the confrontation escalates into a postmodern version of the myth of David versus Goliath. And we're trying to blow me off the deck with one of these water cannons. Then we felt like this is going all wrong. So we called John Castle on the altar saying, what's happening now is way beyond any sanity. I was quite stunned. Obviously, things were getting a little bit out of hand. And then he just said, the spa's turning round. We're, we're turning round. So eventually it was pretty fucking obvious that they were going to go right around. And he came back and he said, we've won. And, and our, all our objectives, you know, all our demands, whatever you want to say, they were, they were done. They didn't dump the thing. One thing was clear, the Brent Spa campaign changed the world because with it, a new power had stepped onto the world stage, the power of the consumers.